Welcome to Automation Training. In this video, we are going to learn how to configure Alap for analog signals. So right now, I'll take the slider. In that slider, I'll give a tag name as A. In that tag name, you can see we have Alap. So in that, you can able to set the configuration. So you can see we have four states we have low, 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 high, high. So in our process, if you So right now, if I give high I as 90, that means above 90 to 100. So 90 to 100 in that range, it will show us higher. If I give 80 in here, then 80 to 90. Similarly, low, low. If I give as a 10 now, till 10, 0 to 10, it will show us low, low. And about 10 till 20, it will be low. Then in between range, we have now 20 to 80. It will be our normal operating range. For example, in that normal operating range, if any fluctuation happens, because you know, if the flow is coming now, it will be a steady flow will come. Suppose if any problem arises now, that flow get affect. If the flow get affect, we need to need an indication for the operator now, for that only they given a rate of change. So in the rate of change, for example, you are saying the steadily your tank level will come 4, 4%. Right now, if it is goes above 4, for example, right now I set it as 8, then suddenly if there is any spike in your flow, then in your display it will show it as ROC. ROC means rate of change. So similarly in here, we have minor than uh, major deviation. So in here, the target, for example, our set point in the tank is uh, 50%. So when I say 50% now, normally your tank level, it won't be in a steadily 50%. There will be some fluctuation will be there. 51, 52 or 48, 49. So that range only, they call it as a minor major. For example, if I give minor as three, then 47 to 53, it will show as a minor deviation and in here if i given five now 45 to 55 it will be major deviation and you can see in here priority so priority is for our understanding whether it is very important or not so for that only we are setting that range and you can see in here alarm inhibitor so that is a, just a digital switch for example right now at runtime, if you want to enable or disable this uh, state now, you can uh, add one uh, digital tag name. In this, you can see it will ask a tag name. So you can add the digital tag name in this so that you can control this state. So once you've done the configuration, then we can go to wizard. We have alarm display. You can take this one. So at runtime, we want to give acknowledge for this tag name. So for that, in wizards, we have a runtime to take this one. Okay. So right now, we'll go to the one time. So it's showing uh, deviation as a major deviation. The range it's showing. And you can see the state. Uh, currently, it is in low low. You can see. So low, low, it's showing in here. And the state it's showing as what? Unacknowledged. So the operator didn't acknowledge this alarm. So for that, what we have to do now, in the runtime tool only, we can give the acknowledgement. So in here, first add that tag name. Because this display act as a common for all tag names which have alarm settings. So if you want to acknowledge particular tag name now, you have to give in here. For example, how to know the tag name, you can see the name in here. So by seeing the name, you can confirm. If you have multiple uh, alarms, it's showing multiple tag names, it's showing now, you can able to filter from this name. 
So right now you can see alarm is blinking. You can able to see all the settings. If I give acknowledge, you can see acknowledged. Suppose right now if I do any changes, you can see. So right now, suddenly from zero, we given 20. Since it is above 20, it's not showing low, low or low and down. So only rate of change. If it is below 20, if I say, it's showing ROC plus low. Suppose at runtime, if you want to change any settings now, you can change it. But remember, whatever changes you are making in the, it won't affect original settings. So once you come out of uh, development and if you close this window viewer, again, if you open now, it will take back to original settings only. So better if you do any changes in the settings now, don't do at runtime, prefer in the development. So in this, uh, try to change it. So right now in the display we are watching is a summary query type. So current uh, details it will show you. Suppose if you want all the details now, you can choose as a historical. You can able to see all the details. So it won't delete the details. So everything it will display. So that the past data also you can check. Suppose if you have uh, color changes, if you want to show now, what we can do is in this, the tag name you can give and you can see in fill color also, we have uh, analog alarm in that give the tag name and you can set it. If it is low, low, high, high, wet color. If it is uh, low, I means blue. So normal, I need green. So you can see. So with the help of color change, it will be easy to understand. So normally the tank level, we won't change it. So what we do is we prefer this one as a scale. So I'll go to symbol factory. I'll choose tank object. So if you want to resize it now, we have to give cell symbol break cell so that I can resize the tank. So right now, I'll send it back. So you can able to see the internally in the tank, what level it is filling with the help of this. Fill color, color changes you can watch. So like this only we have to use the alarm. Same goes for analog also. When you say analog, it will be either on off. So it will display that one in the display. Right now, if I take one switch, you can see what we have. So alarm state on or off. So which one you want to do? So while you're doing any comment, if you want to display now, that comment, if you type it, it will display that particular comment. So I hope you understood how to configure alarm. Thank you.